Welcome to the dpost.com sports chat. I am Dominion Post sports reporter Todd Murray, filling in for sports editor Drew Rubenstein this week. And we're joined by uh, Kristen Kerlick, our high school sports writer. And Kristen, uh, big week this week for University High. They uh, defeated the rival Morgantown High Mohitans going into the second round at Capitol. Imagine a lot of excitement on uh, Hawk Hill this week. Definitely. Uh, UHS got their first two wins against MHS this year since 2007. Um, knocked off the Mohegans in the Mohawk Bowl at the end of the regular season and then again last week in the first round of the playoffs. Only allowed three points in each of those games, um, which was really huge. That MHS offense was um, had a lot of firepower coming in. And, and yeah, um, Milan Pharmaceutical Stadium was was pretty pumped after that game. Those players were excited. Yeah. I knew you were out at uh, University High's practice on uh, Monday. Did you get a sense in talking to some players that, that they have indeed moved on on that? Because obviously uh, Capital could, could care less that they beat Morgantown High twice. Exactly. Um, I mean, they're, they're still happy about it. Obviously, that's a big deal. Those um, those seniors had never beaten MHS before, um, so I know they're happy to kind of end their regular season careers on that note, but at the same time, they're ready for a playoff run. You know, they, they said just that, yeah, it was great, but we're focused on Capital now. They were watching film that day and studying Capital's a brand new opponent instead of someone they've seen all the time, so they're definitely looking ahead now. You know, people who have followed University High football through the years with John Kelly at the helm know that his teams really seem to thrive on that underdog role, and I think he he enjoys nothing better as a as a coach when people don't expect his teams to win. So I, I'm guessing he he kind of likes being in this underdog role Saturday. No doubt, um, he'll tell you he's he's nervous and anxious and scared about it, and um, you know that's that's valid. Capital is a very good team. However, like you said, I'm not so sure that he's you know not. A little bit okay with that. Um, they were the it was kind of the same way with MHS last week. Even though University was the higher seed, um, you know, like like we just said, University hadn't beaten MHS since 2007, um, so they could still kind of play that underdog card going in against Capital. Capital is now the higher seed. I don't think anyone really expects University to come out of this game with a win. And Definitely, they are using that as motivation this week in practice. I know you've looked into capital a little bit. What can you tell us about uh, maybe some of the key players and things that they like to do on both sides of the ball? Yeah, capital is um, very athletic. They are big and physical. Um, their defensive line is impressive. Their tackles, um, big, strong kids. Everyone this year has had a hard time running the ball up the middle against them. Yeah, um, yeah offensively. Um, their quarterback is just a sophomore, Tyree Pratt, he's very athletic, um, fa deceptively fast, kind of glides as he runs, um, throws on the run a lot or will you know, hand off in the read option to his running back, um, really utility sort of guy, right. um, Kayshawn Haley, who is also incredibly athletic and has presented a big challenge to everyone this year. They run a spread offense and they are just looking to get the ball to their athletes in space. Yeah. Is there a UHS player people might want to keep their eye on Saturday who, who could be a real key in this game? You know, um, I mean, the Hawks have, have some key players who have been kind of in the spotlight all season. You have um, Travis Renner, the quarterback, is really playing well right now. Um, he's a kid who maybe he's not the best passer or the best runner in the state. He's a good passer and a good runner, but the last few games he's kind of taken the Hawks on his shoulders and you know made things happen out of nothing. Um, the leadership quality, the X factor. Same with a Jack Armstrong at receiver and kind of do it all. Um, a kid who can you know with one quick play can break a game open. Um, I would really look at Tony Richardson as well, who's a um, defensive end, tight end for the Hawks. The last couple games against MHS, he's played exceptionally well. Um, didn't even have a catch last week against MHS, but just um, solid blocking, solid defense. Um, look for him to try to get into the backfield this week and and make something happen on defense. Yeah, no, there's always a lot of intensity in these second round games with Thanksgiving week coming up, and that's every team's goal at the beginning of the year. They want to be practicing uh, Thanksgiving week, Thanksgiving Day. Huh? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, Kristen, one one thirty at Laidley Field on, uh, on Saturday. We look forward to it. Uh, appreciate your time this week, and uh, 
Please continue to follow our high school coverage on thedepost.com.